Hello and welcome back to the Dojo of Game. All right, today we have one of my favorite topics to discuss. Growing up as a young child, I had a stage where I was kind of obsessed with this. So we're going to talk about aliens today. I've already covered this topic in Spanish, so if you're bilingual, you could check out that video where I look at Andrew Alvarez's interview with Malusco where they talk about this current case and there's tons of interesting information there so if you speak Spanish I suggest you check it out or even better yet check out the actual video from his from Malusco TV's channel but if we're going to cover it in English which the majority of my subscribers speak English anyways who better to cover it than Joe Rogan let's take a look and see what he has to say and I'll put my input in and see if I have anything to add if I agree or disagree or any theories that I may be thinking. Shit. I'm the one calling the shots. Uh. I don't get stuck in the box. Feel like I've been through a lot. Assume that it's a biological entity. It's, it doesn't have any windows. It's this round thing that looks like a Tic Tac. If there is some sort of advanced propulsion system, some, some revolutionary way of moving through space and time that the US, U.S. government has developed, you know, in some black ops program, that seems very likely impossible. That seems more likely than aliens visiting us. Mm. But there's more than one incident, and there's a lot of these things. And the possibility of alien life in the universe, although we've never experienced it, seems rational. It seems very rational. And if you were going to study an emerging civilization that is both primitive and warlike and yet insanely technologically advanced to the point where they have nuclear weapons, they can transmit video through the sky, they have propaganda, they have tracking of their citizens. Like, that's us. Mm -hmm. That's us right now. And while we are these territorial, primal beings with fucking nuclear weapons, this would be a good time yeah, to start yeah. exposing yourself yes. and to stop this nonsense. Insan insanity. Yeah, and look, the reason why we named uh, the rooms at our club Fat Man and Little Boy is because in UFO lore, that's when they started showing up. After the detonation of the atomic bombs in Japan, that's when the UFO sightings ramped up. And they ramped up mostly in the U.S., right? Yes. So that's interesting because the U.S. was the one, was the nuclear power. So. And we were the one. So if the aliens are actually visiting and these UFOs are actually coming from another planet, are they doing research on us to see how long until we destroy ourselves with the nuclear bombs? Maybe if they were a more advanced civilization who travels to different galaxies and such, they go to different planets and they have seen patterns like this before and they're expecting that something like this would happen. Could be a possibility. Not to say that I necessarily think that the UFOs are actually aliens. They could be something else. I mean, are there aliens? Most likely, we're living in, we live in an endless universe. And to consider the fact that there's already oceans confirmed that are within our own galaxy. If there's oceans, there's most likely bacteria. So depending on what you consider an alien, if you're considering an alien an advanced intelligent species, well, in our galaxy, I don't think we have that, but we do have aliens if you're considering it bacteria, right? How can there be water without bacteria? I'm just assuming that there should be bacteria. Bacteria are living beings, so that would classify them as extraterrestrials, right? The one who was doing a lot of fucking testing. Yeah. You know, and also we have all these military bases. Who the fuck has more military bases than us? No one. Who has more nuclear weapons pointed at other people than us? We're, we have them all over the place. And there's all these multiple sightings and eyewitness accounts of like very credible people who say these things have hovered over military bases. It'd be pretty cool if uh, these aliens were benevolent overlords and they were like, hey, my children. Yeah. You know? Or maybe even so advanced intellectually that the concept of an overlord is preposterous and they're just yeah. biological management. They're just there's just the gardeners tending to make sure the weeds don't get out of hand and just like let this process continue to play itself out because this process of technological innovation is it's the everything that humans do yeah it's what we do at the pinnacle of our creation is we make better technology well i always wonder about fractals and whether or not like this idea of this being a simulation this being you know uh 
like we are we are kind of replicating we are creating machines and doing our best to create them in our own image right yes and that's interesting <laughs> you know that's because our the the mythologies that we subscribe to are the idea that this god that we pray to made us in his image right. and we're doing the same thing now with robots and and computers and that's an interesting thing that we see to, to seem to have this sort of um paradigm mm -hmm. this 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 idea that that um that's the scaffolding for the way we think, right? And to what end? And and why are we doing that? Maybe it's and, the creation and has it of already a new happened? life form. But has it already happened? Are we, are we the result of that that um, impulse that happened way longer, a long time ago? I think we I are know. the shit throwing chimps that are going to become the nuclear physicists. That's what we I'm, are the shit throwing chimps from two thousand and one that yeah. become Oppenheimer. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think this thing that we become is integrated with technology. It's probably some sort of a hybrid. It's some sort of a cyborg. That's wild. Because I, I think we're already like on the verge of merging. You know, all this talk of like Neuralink and all these various things. We watched this video the other day of this guy who is uh, Googling questions and getting answers in his head mm. with his headpiece yeah. on. Have you seen that thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy. Incredible, right? So how long before that is like that's Pong? I doot, know, doot, doot, but doot. that's the, the, and then you have the Unreal Four engine in 2023 that looks like a movie. No, no. Like, All right. So, how many of you guys would be down to put the neural link in your brain and become essentially a cyborg, be connected with the internet, and have the power to? use computers with your brain and basically have all the information probably be able to speak all languages and basically be a human computer sounds pretty cool but I'll tell you to keep it real i ain't down with it i'm not going to put anything in my brain i'm not putting any neural link in there i don't trust anybody with my brain they probably put viruses in your brain they'll probably be able to shut your brain down whenever they want if you're a criminal they'll be able to track you you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things that are going to come with becoming a cyborg human. It's not going to be all dandy. And keep it real. If you were able to download your consciousness into a robot and live forever through your consciousness as a robot, would you really want to be a robot? I mean, the human experience is so great because of what humans are able to experience as a robot are you going to have sensations are you going to be attractive are you going to be able to make gains in the gym i don't know whatever all this all the human stuff that you do it sounds kind of stupid to me i'd rather just go ahead and die when it's time for me to die than to become a robot and i don't think that that seems like a great alternative but I do see that happening within the near future, considering the advancements that are happening with AI. So it could happen, but would I be down with it? I'm not down with it. I ain't doing that. How long before that technology gets to the point where it's just supremely advanced and we, we literally are like God. But my question really is also the idea that that's engineering. Right, that's a tool. It's innovation. It, it, but 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 there's there's engineering. So there there are two aspects to it. One is uh, getting information faster and stuff. We'll never be like gods, even if we're able to download our consciousness and become immortal. When a meteor comes and hits the earth, we're going to die either way. Which doesn't get you closer to the truth, but it gets you information faster. There are endless facts, but m another fucking call. More importantly. Um, I, I always wonder, like, why we are given this. I really believe that human potential is pretty much infinite. Whatever you can imagine and beyond, we can do. And we are doing. We, we seem to be doing this. Like, think about how crazy that is. I can wear a headset and I can do things with my mind and, and look up the answer. Yeah. That's insane. That's magic. It's crazier than magic. But there's a way to measure that and quantify that and replicate that. So it's not magic. I can do it and I can tell you exactly how I get there which is even crazier. So uh, what, what, is that, what is that leading us to? It is nudging us closer. It's, it's like the, I think it's very significant that we're getting a better understanding of what it's like to be someone else. Yeah. We are. It's, it's really hard to say that a, uh, a Yanomamo Indian or whoever it might be is, thinks about things differently than I do when I know so much about how all these human beings, like someone in Iran, um, someone in Jordan, uh, 
laughs and cries and bleeds at the same thing I do. Uh, you know, we, 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 it's, it's, it's being prejudiced based on what that person looks like over there is becoming harder and harder to justify. Where it was before we knew about that, we were like, well, those people over there are quote unquote savages or they're this, that, and the other thing. And I do think that we are getting a better understanding of what it's like to be each other and nudge and being nudged in the same direction. I'm not saying we don't, yeah. we don't, no, become I, think, tribal, I think that's true too. But why? And, and, uh, it's interesting to think about where that's, where that's leading us to, to what, to what understanding, to what understanding. And then when we yeah. have that understanding, what are we going to do about that? Right. And are we going to pull it together? And are the aliens here to make sure that we don't fuck it up? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the beautiful idea. I would say that if the aliens are coming, I don't think they care at all about humans, any species or being that tends to be more intelligent than another being will be more than down to destroy that community or enslave it or use it for some sort of gain, personal gain, economic gain, use it to become more powerful, et cetera, et cetera. I don't believe that. Yeah. The, the terrible idea is that it's all us and then it's all a big ruse and it's all just drones that we're doing because we don't want China and Russia to know about it. But we have insane propulsion systems that operate on gravity. and Yeah. I think it is but us. It's, but it seems, it seems like both. It seems like us and it also seems like there's some shit that we, that we just don't understand. And I don't know if those people are telling the truth. Because if the people that are telling the truth that there's biological entities, and this is what Jackie Gleason said that Nixon told him, and Nixon took him on, a, they were drinking. You know that famous story? No. Who knows if it's true? It's, it's a legend. But the legend is that Jackie Gleason and Nixon were drinking, and that Nixon said, you want to see some fucking aliens? And they get on Air Force One, and they fly to some Air Force base, and they go to a place where they have a crashed UFO, and they have biological beings that are in freezers. And Jackie Gleason sees this. And Jackie Gleason, after that, has a house built in upstate New York that looks like a UFO. He became obsessed with UFOs after it. There was a house, it was actually for sale at one point what in time. Yeah, so he has this house that he had shaped like a UFO. Hmm. And this is like, who knows if this is a true story? Yeah. Right. Because it's like, it was kind of sort of disputed. His ex wife told the story or something like that. I forget. I, I, I think that kind of thing is actually impossible to keep secret. No, I don't think so. Really? No, I don't you think so. You think generational, at all. like yeah. generations of, of, of government bureaucrats mm -hmm. can keep something a secret? Sure. I they don't they think tell so. the, the, the people at the very highest level know about it. It's very few people. It's all very compartmentalized. They, they're, they're always... they monitor everyone's phone calls, everyone's emails, mm -hmm. everything impossible. everyone does. Impossible. At a top secret clearance level? No way. Impossible. I don't think you're right. Totally. Okay. Do I think there are secrets in the government that are kept? Yes, I do. But as far as him experiencing aliens and frozen bodies in a freezer, you can also see these things just by taking LSD or a large dosage of mushrooms or sleep paralysis or accidentally mixing medications. You can see beings and all these other things when you have hallucinations. So do I believe he necessarily saw it? Maybe he didn't because sometimes when you have these experiences they seem just as real as reality and not able to differentiate the two so it may have been a hallucination but i'm going to go ahead and go with the route that i do not believe that these ufo sightings going on are actually aliens i believe personally or well i wouldn't say necessarily i believe it's just a theory of mine that they have technology that is incapable to be produced by humans it's far too advanced to be produced by humans but if you think about the access to ai that we have i'm sure there's a much more powerful version of ai that the people up at the very top the elites have access to and that more powerful version of ai would be able to in theory build ships that are beyond the human capacity to do so and these ships could be ships that were produced by AI and they're being flown. So basically, they're using AI to create technology that's beyond the human capacity to create because 
these AI possess a super intelligence that obviously is not available to the general public. That would be my theory on this. Another theory could be that it is all a hoax and they're trying to get our attention there for something else that's going to go on or that is going on that we're not aware of. And another theory could be that it's just aliens, who knows. But, well, actually, the third theory could even be that it is uh, divine beings like demons or something like that. Okay, so that would be the third theory. But I'm going to wrap up the video there. If you like, don't forget, comments up, subscribe, like. Catch you guys next time.